Hey y'all, it's Rita May June and I'm coming on today with a little bit of hair chat. My first hair video of the year and a demo of a wet bun. Um, I blue dried my hair last week and did a bun and I loved it. And um, this week I want to do it on wet hair because I don't want to blow dry my hair week after week after week. So if I'm doing a bun or something, I know I'm going to have to, you know, redo that weekly. Um, just to get the gel, like, you know, after a while the gel starts flaking in and it's not cute. So, whenever I do a bun, I will be doing that, um, weekly and, um, on wet hair. And, um, I'm thinking I might still do some twist outs on wet hair. Um, and, you know, make it last for two weeks. But buns, I definitely don't have to be a week process. Um... I'm still going to do some blowout styles. I plan to do some wand curls on blown out hair. So I will be sharing that with you guys. But for real, for real. Hold on, let me get my, um, my moisturizer. I'm over here. Yeah. I'm tired of doing my hair. I stay at home. You know, I guess I go out to the schools. I go out and do different things with my husband, date night, things like that. And, you know, I want my hair to look presentable. But on a day to day doing hair, I can't do it, y'all. I can't do it. So, when I'm feeling lazy and I really don't have nowhere to go, nine times out of ten, my hair probably be in a bun or I might rock a wig. It depends on how I'm feeling. But, um, yeah, nine times out of ten, it might be in a bun. And I'm going to plan on doing a wet bun because I don't feel like blow-drying my hair weekly. And plus, you know, it's not that good to be blow-drying your hair weekly. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I do my bun. Um, I just co-washed my hair and um, I know I said that I'm not about that co-wash life and I'm still not. I will not be strictly co-washing my hair only like one week because I only want to shampoo my hair every two weeks. So one week I plan to, um, one week I plan to shampoo and deep condition and all that. And the second week, I plan to just co-wash. So today, I co-wash with the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Balancing Conditioner. I used it to co-wash, but um, today, yeah, that worked great. So um, my hair is feeling good. I got that um, gel out that was, you know, built up over wearing a bun for the last week. So I'm just going to add some Shea Moisture um, Smoothie to my hair. A good amount. Because this bun is going to be in for a week. And midweek, I'll probably go in and, you know, add some more. So, I'm just going to finish detangling it. I did finger detangle with the conditioner in. Um, on my cold wash days, I don't plan to do a full out detangle session only on wash wash day. I'm just adding a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to my hair to seal that in. And I'm just gonna put this section out the way until I do the other side. But um yeah I'm over my hair right now. I just don't feel like being bothered. Um I really really don't So yeah, buns it will be. And I do plan to do some more mini twists in a bit. Like I can say I'll probably do those after I do my wand curls. And I mean I do want to do a couple of more twist outs and things, so you know, just whenever I get that mood back. But right now I just don't feel like doing on hair. I just don't want to be bothered. I don't want to feel it. I'm just removing the shed hair from my finger. I just don't want to be bothered with no hair. I don't want to mess with no hair. I don't want to blow it in my face. I just want it to Okay, chill. now that I got both sides moisturized, I'm just going to put it all up towards the top. I'm going to basically use my hands right now.
because I like to do a high bun. Alright, now that I got it up some, I'm just going to take my paddle brush and kind of brush it up. And then I'm going to put a ponytail holder on, but not all the way, just to help my hair stay up some type of way, because, yeah. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is take some Gorilla's Knot Gel. Yeah, so I got this Gorilla's, gorilla's Knot Gel and Punk. Put a good amount like that on the back. Y'all see this? Ooh. Yeah. Put it all the way on the back of my hair. I'm gonna take some more and put it on the front of my hair. And I got my gel on. I'm gonna take a bristle brush. So if any of y'all feel like I feel because I think it's like a three year blues. Like I done did this and that to my hair for the last two years. Okay, the first year, you know, you're learning your hair. You know, you 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 know you doing you're going through that the first year. The second year, you get a little bit of hang time, so you start being more creative and all of that. And then the third year, you like, okay, I've been there, done that. I'm trying to chill. It's like you over the whole hair situation. So I'm going to take another scrunchie and put it in upon his hair. I'm going to do it three times. Move my hair one more time. I'm gonna take that scrunchy and just wrap it up there. Like that, and that's the way it so is. So now I am going to just tie it down for the night. But this is basically what it's gonna be looking like. Y'all know once y'all tie it down, it's gonna you know just be laying right. So I got this tip from I forget her name, but she's in the group I'm in on Facebook. She was like, um, because my scarf won't stand on. She was like, try the elastic. Um, mesh wrap thingies and I happen to still have mine from you know no relax today so it really really helps stay on all night and really helps keep my edges laid so I'm gonna put this on I'm first turn my scarf on and that's it that is my wet bunny if you have any questions or anything please leave them down below and I will talk to y'all later. All right.